Hi everybody, it's me, Lisa, Transcendence Brown, and I hope you can hear me. Yeah, I'm going to do my best to talk as loud as I can, but I don't tend to talk very loud, so some mm, may have a bit of a time hearing me, so turn your volume up, and here we go. Today, <laughs> I'm wearing glasses because with all of the light activations for our human star being body, our crystalline structures um, that are occurring, our eyes cannot handle contacts anymore. And I will put them in uh, for a moment and then have to take them right back out again. The light activations that occur in our eyes in order to activate our new vision and more um, in addition to all of the other previous crystal activations and in order so we could see vibrationally these cause severe itching under our eyelids and we want to claw our eyes out um, I also <laughs> received, uh, heard, remembered whichever word you like to use, all the same to me, doesn't matter um, that Anything foreign in our body creates an issue when we are trying to move dimensionally. Um, I observe the dimensional shifts as they occur in the, our bodies and what they go through for this to actually happen before we go through these vortexes that we're going through with the breathing, um, shallow breathing, the compressions to our body. Um, the dematerialization, the rematerialization that the human eye cannot see. It is quite magnificent to observe. Very cool. So, beyond that, I guess that's where we went for the first part of this video. I have a lot of stuff I would love to include in this one and not make it four hours long. So I made notes, and y'all know I don't tend to do that because I tend to fly by the seat of my pants. So I'm going to fly by the seat of my pants with some notes today. It has been an extremely active time, and it only continues to speed up. Now, for those who are with me on Facebook, you are aware that I post the energy updates, the light activations as they occur in real time. I have been doing this for about three years, two years, three years, I don't know how long, that's human, we don't do that anymore, <laughs> but it came to a point where my higher self presented me with the option to stop, and I didn't want to, I felt I needed to continue to do them to assist others, because they have been pivotal for many in understanding what's going on. I have noticed that when I stop doing them, there are so many questions that people have. So I have opted um, temporarily to continue to do them after I made an announcement on Facebook that I would not be doing them. But this is because it was taking up all of my time. Um, we are here now to work in the higher realms, as the higher realms, from the higher realms. Um, we hold this vibration inside. I say we. I speak for all who may be doing anything like this. Sorry, I moved my computer up. We, vibrationally. Because there are many that do a lot of things um, to assist on for ascension and we all do different things that's what makes it so awesome because there's a lot that happens with ascension now for me I do not suffer to um, light activations have not for a very long time mm, it's probably been over a year year and a half um, I believe I remember last June I went through a Syrian Lyran detox that was pretty profound. Lasted a couple of hours and it was over and off we go again. Um, after that, I think that was my last um, huge thing that I noticed. Prior to that was a lot, and I do mean a lot of physical pain. Because as the structures within us um, come to 
be dismantled. They have been anchored in our bones and our muscles and places physically that we cannot comprehend. Our organs were only separated to hold those distortions that we needed to clear. Now what I've seen, I see the human body template, I see the crystalline body template, I see the human mind, I see the universal mind. They are quite different. I did not fully get it until I remembered all of these things. The human mind does not physically have the capability to understand any of this, only from a place of trying to achieve knowledge intellectually, which that type of understanding cannot grasp what truly goes on. It comes from a place of remembering where all of this comes from inside of us and we remember again. And here, the amount of knowledge that is accessible, the amount of knowledge that we hold when we integrate to these new light frequencies, the amount of knowledge held in this light is so far beyond what human has access to. Um, it is quite amazing, yet so totally comfortable and understandable um, as it comes forth. It's like, wow, I remember this. It's a memory. It is not, for some, they might tap into the super consciousness field. I might tap in from time to time, but once I tap in, I usually integrate to that frequency really, really fast. I'm um, sometimes within an hour. Um, Sometimes instantly. Uh, it, there's not much of a time delay anymore. Um, now there are a lot of things that I will access and I will forget that I access them. Um, and then they'll come back around when it's meant to be. I do write a lot of stuff down. Uh, it helps me um, put together the puzzle pieces because I will access many different areas of the super consciousness quantum field. And it hops all over the place. <laughs> we remember a lot of things and there is absolutely no way to even retain some of this yet. And we hit the frequency and then it's like, oh yeah, I remember that. And we don't forget again. So, all right, I want to go through, I want to start back. I typed up for everybody the experiences that I have been ha having that would affect the collective um, re releasing um, different ancient energies, accessing new ancient memories, um, and bringing them forth here. Um, integration of ancient, ancient, ancient things coming up. And I had the awareness at the time to know that what was being triggered in the physical had absolutely nothing to what, do what was going on. So I had to go so far beyond physical in order to ask what is this and things just started coming up and coming forth and clearing instantly and boom 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 and I embraced it and it was only a matter of minutes which was really cool now I did go from the date I don't use dates but I tried to do a chronological chronological event listing just for those so they can see how long things are broken apart that, that create one moment um, when I went through my own ascension, um, and I don't use these words except for description purposes, completion of ascension process, uh, is what I was told was, was back in December. The new earth visibly came forth for the experience. Now we have been having these experiences all along, we just didn't understand them. Um, then the back and forth between new earth, old earth energies, and um, actually physically existing on either one at any given time and then sometimes with one foot in each one and watching it split right down the middle and each side of my reality half and half those I took pictures of those I have been sharing with others so they can see too this is a very tangible thing now New Earth it is not a thing of one day anymore 
Okay, so I want to go back to about February 28th and started the next integration process after I typed up the point from Christmas, December, or right before from the 1212 portal and what started occurring from them because it was continual daily all the way up through some point in February, I believe, and I left off um, through the date or the day of my own actual transcendence and what I experienced there. And the words coming through were breaking the barriers. And, of course, we receive words, and then we wait to see what all this means. We have ideas, but we never fully can grasp what everything means yet until we experience it. And that's what I share with you. February 28th, quite pivotal, because boom, there was an event in a physical that triggered an emotion in me that was very rare because I tend to have, I tend to not have emotions triggered. I'm able to stay so very conscious and present that doesn't happen anymore. Um, and if it does, I'm aware and I'm able to stay present and just let it float on by. This day <laughs> was not one of those. And it seems for me always around the noon moon is when mine starts coming up. It's also when a lot of my ancient memories come forth right after a huge purging. Because this is how it works for me. Now, February 28th, an incident occurred. Not big, very small. But to me, apparently, it was a trigger for I'd had enough. When me, I have learned that when I've had enough, I'm about to go through a huge dimensional shift and i got to let go of something. So that day was a small trigger that triggered a whole lot of stuff. Once it happened, and what I was going to be doing, I heard, nope, you're going and go get on your bike. Go into town. So I honor everything that I received, so I got on my bike and I headed towards town. And when I got down to the end of one of the roads, I went to turn left to go up and record videos for you guys. And I heard, no, you're going to the beach. So I turned my bike around and I headed towards the beach. Now, this beach area that I go to tends to be where everything comes forth. So I knew that if I was going to the beach, something was about to happen. So here we go. So I get to the beach. I'm sitting on the beach. And within me, here comes this energy. Because this is how mine works. I am very aware of what occurs in every moment. And I know when something's going on that there's an energy it's got to come up and out, so I embrace it. So I'm sitting on the beach, and here comes this really huge energy coming up. And I'm like, okay, bring it up. Let's do this, because those are my words. Bring it on. And every moment, here it comes, feeling this energy. And I'm like, okay, what is this? Because I know it is not this little incident that occurred, that it is way bigger. Because the amount of energy that was represented was just not proportional at all. And I heard betrayal. And I went, wow, really betrayal energy. Okay, let's bring this up. What betrayal energy? And I heard Judas and Jesus. Now, that was quite surprising to me in a way, but not. And because of my history, um, I was not a religious person. So, for and it's been funny how <laughs> religious-ish, and I'll use that word, stuff, keeps coming up. Um, and y'all who have read my book know that I was not quite prepared for the fact that New Earth was the literal heaven and that we were already here. So, that too was a shocker, because I don't tend to research anything, I just tend to experience and then I share. So... I'm like, okay, let's do this, bring it up. Brought up this energy. <sighs> up, here it comes. Out. With a lot of anger. And I was shocked. I'm like, wow, okay, let's do this. Let's let the anger go. And I did. Right there. Took about, I don't know, five minutes. People walking by um, over there. And because I am lucky enough that there is this one section of the beach that I go to that I always have to myself. It doesn't matter. <laughs> My universe is very kind to me. 
anger comes up, I let it go. I said, thank you. And I allowed it to integrate inside, and I came back to a place of peace. All within about five minutes. It happens really fast when we embrace it, and we don't fight, and we don't struggle anymore. A few minutes later, here comes more energy, and this one was absolutely huge. Up from inside, and here it comes. And I'm like, whoa, I did not expect this. More, there's more. Okay, let's bring it up. And I did. And I'm like, okay, what is this? And I heard Lucifer and Prime Creator. Now that one was beyond astonishing to me. Because when Lucifer is not a word I use, it's nothing I identify with. Prime Creator, I had to look up to figure out what it was. Not one of my words. So there is no way that I created that one from intellect, because I had no idea. I'm like, okay, bring it up. Came up. Inside of me, integrated to an instant place of peace. Now, this one brought tears. Lots of them. For a moment. Like, and to me, a lots of tears is any tears because I don't cry anymore. It's just it's not an emotion that we have. And there's no need. Everything is peace, utter and complete. Come back to a place of peace inside, fully integrated. It took about five, ten minutes, I was done. Sat there for a little while, embracing the energy. And I heard, okay, it's time to go. So I got up, grabbed my backpack grab my stuff, headed into town. Now, I headed to the coffee shop that I go to every time I go in, grabbed my coffee, went outside, and there. And I'm like, okay, now I'm still going to have to deal with the physical realm and what created this, because when it comes to a place where things are not okay, we still have to put things in alignment in the physical where another human being is mm, involved, if action is required in order to set things in alignment so that we can come back into alignment inside. This did require that, and I was aware of that. There are some things we can do in the higher realms that don't need an actual exchange. There are many things we can do inside that don't need an actual exchange. There are also some things that we have created that do require an actual exchange. This is one of those. But I had said, okay, before I have to do this thing, I would really like to see in, in, in these two specific beings Lo and behold, within about 10, 20 minutes, here they can come walking up separately. Oh, hi! <laughs> so, needless to say, we spent the next little bit um, dealing with the physical realm of what needed to be brought into alignment and what I was willing to allow in my reality anymore and what I was not. And that was required, and it is it's very easy to do when we do it from that place of love. Um, I am very honest with others and what it creates and what creates and where it creates from and what the energy of everything is. It is. We need to be. Otherwise, what good are things if we can't do this? So, alright, move on from that. It was quite cool because all of these integrations that I've been doing, I do a lot of them in town. I will sit at a table watching the clouds and, and, and people walk by. I will go through a complete integration with everything out there still occurring and nobody having any idea anything's going on. It's very easy to do. Um, that one required a lot of tears because for some reason that was a huge energy. So probably over the next couple hours on and off I cried a bit, which was okay. Because once I was done, everybody was laughing. We were having a great time and everything was cool again. We still have to make things right in our exterior world um, according to what needs to be aligned. So that's very important here. Every day is something, lately. Every day is light activations, and a lot of them. Every day is making sure that we are completely in alignment and not getting out of balance anymore. Every day is being conscious. Every day is sharing. If we wish to exist on New Earth, we have to do this. There's no holding back. There's no more hiding. There's no more fear. There's nothing other than peace and love and bliss and magic and remembering 
and not forgetting again. There has been a lot of putting my feet down and saying, no, that's not okay anymore. Um, there's a lot of things going on, and it is required now. Okay, so, because you got to remember, everything we do for ourselves, we do collectively. And it is very important that we stay in alignment at all times. Alright, so, on top of everything else we're doing 24 hours a day with and that's a human time thing. I went through, um, I will discuss this in another video because I'm up to 20 minutes on this one already, but the zoom zoom in the head and the film strips and the memories and the new um, hologram, the old film strips, I have come to understand what all of that is in the neural pathways and the universal pathways and everything and what occurs. I have been going through the head part actively where I participate and observe um, to know what is occurring um, inside my head. My universal pathways have been apparently completely opened now because before, when I would get the zoom zoom across my head, the uh, electrical um, movement, the um, photonic activations, there are many different ones. I could tell blockages were being open and pathways were being open and, and there would always be new information come forth and new rememberings. But lately it's just been zoom, zoom, zoom across. And it's, there, there are no blockages anymore, which was new to me. Um, I can tell by which side of my head as to what's going on. If the left side of my head is being zapped, whatever thought I have going on in that moment it gets immediately erased. can't remember it instantly anymore. Um... When a film strip clears, the emotions and everything that were anchored with that go immediately, and they're gone. And I cleared a, an entire issue recently that I was not even aware was there. And apparently, in the name of unity consciousness, I had been holding old energy, ancient energies of the need to accommodate everyone, trying to bring people together, and when many were not ready. And I was unable to walk away um, and allow them to stay in a place of separation. I kept trying, and now I don't have that anymore. I can honor another's need not to be a part of unity and step away, and that is necessary as well. I would rather focus my energy on those who do want to be a part of unity consciousness and not somebody that I have to try to get to understand. I would rather it be within them already. Um, and there are those that already hold this, and that's where I prefer to focus my energy now. So, first we focus on ourselves, because when we shift dimensionally, that's what we bring to us, magnetically, the same vibrational frequency. So, this is what we do. So, that little part on the film strip, and the zoom zoom in the head, and I'll go into more on that later if we need to. All right. I will be doing another video on the stages, if you will, of consciousness. Uh, first we start out unconscious, then we become conscious, and that is what we practice in order to be able to hold at all times. Then we, simultaneously, what I teach people, because people have asked me, what do you teach? What do you, what do you assist with? And it is very many things. But from a space of consciousness, um, the typical human will become conscious and they will practice that. Some do not wish to go beyond that. They just want to be happy. I was taking people far beyond that um, very quickly and started noticing that they understood so much more than the typical human. And they were super conscious. And, and, and because what I do is I take everyone into expanded consciousness Automatically, we skip just regular consciousness. <laughs> you can't really skip it, but um, I do them simultaneously so that you're doing being conscious and expanding your consciousness at the same time because they do go hand in hand. Um, and then when you have mastered expanded consciousness, you are a part and remembering and bringing forth and tapping in and being vibrationally a part of super consciousness again, which is awesome and amazing as well because that just goes so far beyond 
where we thought we would go to. And this has been available to all of us, um, as far as my knowledge goes, since the 2012. Um, I know that I had tapped in prior to then, um, the 2012 Gateway, because I tend to do everything about a year in advance, sometimes just a few days, sometimes months, it doesn't matter, because we have to do it first so that we can assist others. So, super consciousness is, is and we'll leave that for another video as well. But for those asking, yes, we don't do anything typical. We don't do anything minimal. We do everything extreme. And this is why we like it. Because why be limited when you don't have to anymore? All right, so I think I will tap one more topic and then close this one out and do another video later. When I talk about my head, universal consciousness. When I talk about the pathways clearing. Recently I had an experience a couple weeks ago where I was in my in-between state. I am conscious when I sleep most of the time unless I just get knocked out for massive integrations that occur. This when I was conscious and participating when the zoom zoom was going on in my head. Um, when I see things, I see things in molecular structures and chemical compounds. I don't understand them quite yet. Um, that all comes forth. I see things in subatomic molecular um, atoms, protons, neutrons, electrons. Um, I, ex I see them, feel them, hear them, am aware of them. They are in my field, so this is the only way that I can share them with another is if it's an experience that I have. I do not know what goes on in the outside world out there. I only know what exists in mine and what it means for others who will come to experience as well, and that's what I share. A couple of weeks ago, my head was doing its expansion stuff, the zoom zoom, and this one was quite different. All of a sudden, this atom this whatever you call it, I call it an orbitron, where I can hear the atom going round and round and round and round and I can see it. And all of a sudden, this in the middle of my head went poof and expanded and I physically felt the inside of my head expand. And then it came back. And I'm like, okay, whoa, that was different. And then I woke up a little while later. I'm like, that was cool. My head just went poof and expanded and came back again. Odd, to say the least. Cool? Normal for me? Yes. Because <laughs> if it's weird, it's normal in my world. A few days later, a week later, I don't remember. I don't do time here. It doesn't exist. I use for y'all's reference. Um, and those who wish to track what occurs doesn't matter to us. Later, um, I I have been receiving ship communications. I have been communicating. I've been hearing uh, ship to ship the things that come through, and I write them and I share with you as I do. Some things I just speak to whoever's in the room with me, and I forget about it, and I go on. Sometimes I don't even remember doing this. Um, but the other night, and I wrote it on Facebook, so it'll be on my website as well. I'm a translation log. There was ship communication coming through and I would not have even known it except for my roommate asked me what are they saying I'm like I don't know and all of a sudden boom here it comes I'm listening and it was that the quantum field was being thinned um, weakened and that there was something in the spinning of the ship that I was listening to that was weakening the field now um, I also came to understand that this had just this was what had occurred inside my head because there is no way that we can experience it until we have activated that. We have reached that frequency. We have released that barrier inside of us. So I had to have released the quantum field. It had to have expanded inside before I could even speak it and understand it and experience it and hear it and know it and share it with another. Um, time is affected by this quantum field. The abilities to walk at will between parallels is affected. Dimensional, you, you name it, everything is affected by this. And the thing about it is, is I, we, I don't know who, 
can all see this as it occurs. It is quite magnificent. So, this will be a to be announced one because I have yet to know what all comes forth out of this one. As you all know, I do not follow anybody else. I do not read anybody else. I don't do anything other than what's in my world and what I receive and what I'm meant to share. It keeps my own sharings clean and pure. And so I couldn't care less what goes on out there. My world is my own creation. And I share that with those who resonate as well. So I think I will close this one today because now we're up to 30 minutes and I think that's long enough and I hope this helps someone I hope some of my sharings help you and for those who wish to know more it is always on my Facebook page my website for those who want sessions and assistance with Ascension New Earth Transitions um, it's on my website as well and I'll post that at the bottom of this video and y'all know how to reach me I am awakening to remembering Lisa Transcendence Brown, and I wish you so very much love, a magnificent day, night, wherever you are in your part of the world, and I look forward to connecting with you all more very soon. Happy activations, love, because we are only speeding up and bringing it on much faster than we ever have before. It is the most magnificent time we have ever been in. And yes, we have gone galactic. And it gets more fun by the moment. I love you. Bye.